So I'm gonna explain a little bit about the different versions. First you have the Preloader 3D Simple. It's a uh, uh, first version of the 3D application and it's a, uh, in scripting it's a little less sophisticated but it basically does uh, a similar thing. Uh, it doesn't include any layers or uh, other shapes besides the, the numeric values. In the main timeline, in the first frame you can see uh, the script which usually you, uh, you use for preloading something. It has the bytes loaded and bytes totals. In this one it only mimics the percentage of loading because it's just for demonstration purpose. But the moment you start using it you can uncomment this one bytes loaded and this one or actually commented and bytes total and use the actual values for uh, which will be used by the, by the script it's uh, it takes the bytes total and bytes loaded from the loader info so it will preload the whole SWF by itself and take these values and it will push it to the instance of the component on stage and it has an instance name of pre which you can see in the properties panel this is the only thing which you'll need to do is push the the calculation of bytes loaded divided by bytes total to the pre instance and it has an internal variable FR, it's an uh, abbreviation of fraction. And as long as the preloader receives values for this one, it will keep animating until it reaches 100 or actually 1. If the FR va value reaches the 1, it will tell the parent movie clip to go and play. The main timeline has a stop action right here, and as soon as it is done it will start playing well actually it's not the uh, the component itself will put which will push the parent to play it's something you might want to be aware of it has a, a, a variable called finished which b will be either true or false it will remain false until it has reached 100 percent and you can use this script to de determine if the animation uh, has finished at 100% then the 100% has faded out and then you can call it to start playing I'm also gonna explain a little bit about the component parameters to have some actual animation let me just put this back so we can mimic the preloading again and you'll notice the default visual is this simple digit starts at four percent because I put a, a, a minimum limit minimum of three in the actual script so it, it won't start at zero percent it's a little uh, less ugly and I'm gonna open the show you the component inspector I already selected the component on stage so if you open the component inspector you can see a lot of uh, parameters and you also, also have a few quick buttons to change w uh, the, the visual very quickly in one go you can see them how they look what they look like also in the online demo uh, you have option of four different uh, digits you have pixel font basic complex serif and sound this one is the, the fastest because it, it has the, the least lines per digit and the other ones they take a little bit longer to, to create so you might have to experiment with one of the most important uh, parameters it's line build steps it's how many frames it will it will take to build one single line of each corner uh, the other vi uh, important visual is this one laser you can put it to ray it will make an, uh, <coughs> a lightning ray and let me just show you 
10 frames per line so it will go really slowly if you have large files this might be good for you let me also show you uh, another di digit let's take us uh, let's take a serif curved lines we'll start at four percent uh, you have different visuals for uh, different options for the rotation at this moment you can see it rotates according to mouse movement <coughs> but you also have the option to have the have it rotate according to the, uh, the laser gun movement and you can also have it uh, rotate slowly as you see now automatically there's actually two t different kinds of uh, autom automatic rotation one of them is uh, for each percentage it will rotate once and the other one is a fixed percentage so in total you you have four different kinds of uh, of rotation possibilities let me close this one it has a lot of lines so it gets a little bit slowly now um, this is the one which uh, you select for auto rotation it will rotate for each percentage one single time you can also put slow rotation it will uh, rotate always independent of any other settings this is the the mouse incline which defines if it will rotate according to where your mouse is and this is the one where it will rotate according to the laser object besides these you have the line thickness uh, line transparencies front back and side uh, laser ray thickness uh, transparency uh, blending modes for the uh, digits and for the laser uh, let me just put it back to laser and pixel font basic uh, you have the uh, colors for the digit and for the laser you have uh, glow quality, glow, glow strength, transparency, blur and both for the digits and for the laser you have uh, you can set sizes here depth you can um, either use the laser gu gun source or not and you can have it come from a fixed point just experiment with them a bit and you have to add mirror reflection you uh, just have to be very careful careful when you use this one because it can be quite heavy and I'm hoping that in the future uh, the flash player will be a little bit better with uh, using a lot of filters because it that's what it uses but that won't stop me from trying to make progressive uh, items so those are the basic uh, parameters of the component just experiment with them a uh, little bit and they're not as uh, difficult so you'll get the hang of them uh, quickly